Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another quick solar power video. Today is in January of 2024 and we're downstairs in the dining room and this is my small solar power system on the dining table and you've seen this before but I have an update on it. Now, before the box had uh, three sealed lead acid batteries in it. That would be these ones right here. These were uh, old second hand ones out of an old uh, cordless lawnmower. So these were not very good batteries and they have uh, given up the ghost a bit so i've took these out because when i had it in here and i was running the light up there is a five watt led light bulb uh, the voltage went down to about 10 point something volts which with a load that small and three of these batteries uh, they're rated at seven amp hours each and if they were working properly this would make a 21 amp hour battery and a 21 amp hour battery running one five watt led light bulb drawing less than half an amp of current should not make the batteries go down to 10 point something volts. So obviously these batteries have given up the ghost. And you can see here that this is the date of uh, manufacture. So 13th of May 2015. So they're a bit knackered. Uh, two of them were measuring 11 point something volt and one was measuring 12.6 volt. So maybe one may be okay out of three. So anyway, I've took them out of my box over here and the rest of the box is a cheap 10 amp PWM solar charge controller, uh, cheap 5 watt LED light from eBay, and maybe less than five pounds. Uh, there's a cigarette li lighter socket on the side, and uh, that's another LED light bulb. And I use this box mainly just to run the light uh, and charge some things like a uh, cordless fan there's a usb fan i uh, charge up some power banks and that kind of thing just odds and ends so a low power type of unit anyway so the batteries that were in here have kind of just died uh, so I wanted to get it going again for little or no cost so here's what I'm going to try so simply here I have a battery holder uh, for 10 AA batteries uh, this is scrap it came out of a uh, I think it was an old uh, CB walkie-talkie or something like that so it's scrap and it's the only thing I had that could hold 10 double-a cells uh, as you know in my other videos I have lots of rechargeable batteries and so I put in 10 
rechargeable AA cells. And these are some Duracell 2000 milliamp hour stay charged rechargeable batteries. I bought these uh, a long time ago from Asda. They were on a deal. Three pounds for a pack of four, which was very, very cheap. So I grabbed a load of them. So I just stuck 10 AA cells in a holder. Uh, rechargeable AA batteries are 1.2 volts. So 1.2 volts times 10 gives you 12 volts. And it's just hooked up to the cheap PWM controller. Uh, these have been sitting around a while and they were probably not fully charged and outside it's not very sunny and this here is a 20 watt solar panel that is hooked up to the system now it's not very sunny outside so it's not charging much and running the 5 watt LED light bulb uh, it's showing a voltage of 11.7 volts so that's okay this controller has two USB ports for charging your devices I think they're rated at I think 2.4 amps across the pair of them I think I mean this is a very cheap controller uh, it's very basic uh, it shows you the battery voltage and that's about it it doesn't show you any charging current any load current etc it just has some icons on it the solar panel lights up when the solar panel is connected and there's light shining on it this light bulb symbol shows that the load output is on and this is a bar graph to show the state of the battery it's not very accurate I can tell you so that is that so I just wanted something cheap to get it going so 10 AA cells in a holder even the holder is scrap I mean, you can buy one off eBay for two or three pounds if you didn't have one. So these cells are rated at 2000 milliamp hours, so two amp hours. So this would make it pretty light duty. So just charging your USB thing and running a LED bulb. That's what it's going to be good for. Uh, if you wanted anything, you want it to do anything more, you would need higher capacity batteries. Uh, I was thinking of getting a LiFo4 battery, a lithium ion phosphate battery. Uh, I saw one on eBay, 12 amp hours for about 50 quid. And then I'd have to by a lithium compatible charge controller so that racks up a bit that's why I didn't do that uh, what I could do is I could get another te uh, 10 AA battery holder and stick it on the back I got loads more of these batteries so I could shove another 10 in it that would make it 4 amp hours why they're in parallel uh, Charging these nickel metal hydride batteries, they are fairly tolerant with charging, so you've got no, not no issues like with lithium cells where you need a BMS. No BMS needed here. Uh, nickel metal hydride cells can tolerate overcharging without issues. So that's that they're easy to charge 
and since I got lots of them that's an experiment I'm going to try so this is Solar Tiger with a video of doing solar power on the cheap if all you wanted to do was run a light then this might be suitable for you uh, depending where you buy your double a cells from uh, you could probably get good deals on ebay but don't buy them from a shop because they are fairly expensive that way so uh, the only thing about these lead acid batteries they're heavy you can only use half of the capacity uh, they do wear out or they go bad after a while so this is solar tiger with a sort of economy solar video if you like this video then please click like and subscribe and leave a comment i only reply to sensible comments as i say in every video so and while you're clicking like why not subscribe in 2024 i'd like to get more subscribers and ideally my target for the year would be to get to a thousand subscribers so that i can get some monetization on my channel that would help me to do more solar experiments but I've been going for quite a long time and I'm only on 300 and something subscribers so we'll see what we can do this year so this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching and until next time happy solaring thank you